Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to look at a very important topic that is how to get the values of a last version changed columns. So what that means is like I would like to fetch the values which were there before for the columns before the updating actual updating happened. And in, in few scenarios or approval flows, it's uh, important to fetch the previous values. So consider an example, if you are having one expense approval flow where requesters or the users are submitting their expense expenses details and that uh, should get to the approval flow to get uh, approved at other stages. So for example, like based on expense value, amount value, you would be deciding I should be going to different uh, next level of approvals or should not. So in that case, we have to judge, we have to get that value of previously entered expense column value because uh, let's say like if item all rest of the column values being updated, but that expense value is not updated that you would not need to change the flow. So for example, like uh, initially you entered a hundred dollar amount for the expense approval and while the approval process was in, in progress, uh, the requester updated that to $1,200. Now we have to decide that uh, this expense approval expense amount has been changed. So we have to do some extra logic for it. So that part we are going to take a look how we can get the column value changes, which is done for the previous from the previous version to the current version. So I have opened my one SharePoint list that is project list. Over here I'm having title assigned to status and all other columns and I'll be going to my flow.microsoft.com and would be creating one instant cloud flow so that I can show you how you can change the, how you can get the values of previous version. So I'm just skipping the trigger now, but my trigger would be when item is created or modified. And I'll be minding that to my SharePoint list. That is project list. Right. So in next step, the action I'm going to see, I'm going to use is get changes for item. So when you start typing that, get changes for an item or file property. So this action would actually give you like what has been changed as in Boolean. Like if for example, this uh, status column has been changed. So you, if that column is changed from the previous version, then you'll get a value as true. So first of all, I'll just uh, bind this action to my side, to my list. ID would be the ID when this item this action got triggered and in since version you have to uh, define the since version so that is so trigger window start token what that means is like when the last time this item got modified so we'll be choosing this one trigger window start token and until you can just skip on, skip this one because we are not sure like how many versions we are going to have so i'm just skipping that it's an optional part and if I just save it and run it for once, then I'll just I would like to show you like what this action actually gives us as an output. So I'll be just modifying my existing item so that we can see like what values got changed. So I is the status. Let me just say as completed. So I should be getting this status as changed as true for this column. So I, I am just going back to my flow and just to see how it ran. So it ran and uh, if I just go to this action get changes, you would see in output. We have like many uh, column fields that has column changed ID. So it's false. Nothing is changed. Assigned to is not changed. So status has been changed. So that's why we are getting this values changed. So if you just require to see like the value has changed, then probably this is the right action. You can just uh, judge based on that status is changed. So you just want to notify the uh, group of users that uh, status of this item has changed. So you can do in this fashion. So 
but the restriction is we just get the boolean values true and false like the item the column changes changed or not so modified change because i modified that column so now what next like if i would like to get the exact value what has changed from previous version then i have to use another set of action that is to send a http request to my sharepoint site again so i'll use send http request to sharepoint and under this i'll again choose my site and under method will be getting using get method and under uri i'll be constructing a uri to get that item and the previous version so i have already written that into a notepad so you can see i have this underscore api web list get by title and this project list name so this is standard api call which we usually make so you can see like uh, till items we get items and after that if i would like to get the item specific item then i need to specify that as an parenthesis the id of that column so you can use this in this fashion parenthesis then can pick the id from the dynamic content id of this item and post that i would be using i would need to get the versions the previous versions so i would use this versions i slash versions and in versions parenthesis i would be passing the version number id so if i just pick the uh, last number version so you can see from this dynamic content i have this since version number so that is lastly not this current version the last version so i can just pick this version and if you can just copy this one and see into notepad that what it gives is it gives you a since version label not the id and if you use this version label because we don't have we would not able to find any version number with the dynamic content so what we have to do is like we have to change this since version label to id so that is simple we just need to remove label and add this id so because in in body we would also get that id since version id so this thing we are going to use not the version label because version label would not give us the uh, expected result so you can just copy this entire string this get output from this and body since version id and just can remove this one and under expression you can just click on within the this uh, brackets and go to expression and now put up that version id body slash version id over here so now we constructed our query we are good we can just save it and i'll just show you one quick run so let me just name that flow uh, column updates or check chief value let's say all right so i have saved it now i'm going to change the column so let me just uh, change the field so let me just pick some add some of the content over there in existing item and i'll just change the status as completed now my flow should run let's wait for that okay it did run so i'll just directly go to the send http to sharepoint to see what output we got so in this collection we can see like we got output as in field values title test 11 and as you know like i changed the status to completed but as we queried the last version which was uh, saved earlier so the value was status in progress at that time but my current value is completed so we are successfully getting the previous item values by this send http call so in next step so probably based on your requirement so you can just put up few conditions for example uh, as i told you that if if you are creating one expense flow then if expense amount earlier it used to be 100 now it's more than 1000 then probably you would like to include the additional approval steps so based on 
these uh, values you would able to decide that now value has been changed now you need to need to execute a separate uh, bunch of logic so that you can decide on previous values so there are numerous i mean uh, real time examples where you would like to compare the previous version value to the current version and do some adjustments of the logic adjustment into your flow so in this case let me just uh, say that if i would be just uh, using the condition that has status change has column change status if that is change is true that means i need to notify my manager or my set of people that status has been changed so i'll just uh, for notification i'll just use an email so it's just fair simple example and in for test i'll be just picking up my id and subject i'll say, say like status has changed from for from i'll use the current status value and sorry for status uh, i'll be using the previous status value so that value i'll be getting from body of my this uh, previous action that is the output which we are getting getting from send http content the output of my this yes so i'll just copy this and go to my notepad and i'll just remove this additional parenthesis now d dot because i'm getting a collection the status so this is the value i am getting from my this http call so i'll just under the expression i'll put that the status from to i'm now i'll be putting a new status value that is that directly we get when item was created so status change from this is a older value to the new value so you can just put the same stuff in the body and save it all right so now our flow is saved now again we'll just do one update so last status was completed but i am going to make it in progress again and now it's saved so our flow should trigger again let's just wait okay so our flow ran we can just go to the condition so this condition has a validated true because status value got changed and this has sent out one email so the subject is status change from completed to in progress because in progress is the current value so it must have sent out one email so the crux is we via this get changes for an item action we can get the uh, boolean as in value of the column get change or not so if your requirement is just to check whether that column specific column value is getting changed whenever an item is updated then you can you are just okay using this get changes for an environment action for an item action and if you still wants to like uh, extract that changed value and would like to do some operation going forward then you have to make a call to sharepoint again to that specific list and get all the changed column value with the version number so you can just create construct your this rast api call and then just send out one query one call so that's how you can get the values in a collection and you would able to do your further operations so that's it for today's video i hope uh, it quite useful for you like if you are in the same requirement if you are in the same need of uh, checking the values for the previous item versions so if you like it please do subscribe and drop your comments thank you